And here we have the new Seth Rollins and Rey Mysterio figures. Question is, are they worth it? Let's find out. Hey, Metal Driver here, and today I'm going to finish up the Top Picks 2023 wave by looking at Seth Rollins and Rey Mysterio. Now, you already know what the boxes look like, so let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and open these up and take a closer look at them. And here we have Rey Mysterio and Seth Franklin Rollins out of the packaging. But before we take a look at the figures, let's look at the accessories that they come with. Rey comes with a pair of pink gloved hands. And he comes with this plastic sleeveless shirt that says The Mysterios. Lettering looks good, the logo is painted very well. So if you have any of the previous Ray figures, you should know what you're expecting when it comes to these plastic shirts. It's got this nice image of the world on the back and it says Making History. Paint detail looks really good. Seth comes with a gripping gloved hand and an ungloved gripping hand. And speaking of Seth, looking at the entrance coat that he comes with, it is a plastic coat, but it's a very rubbery soft plastic, so it does not hinder articulation. So this is really nice. I like that they continue using this. Hopefully we see more of this in the future. This is pretty much exactly the same coat as the previous Elite 93 Seth figure. The obvious difference is the color. The previous one was a maroon and this darker red, whereas the new one is a black. Black one. Take a look at Ray's head sculpt. I think this is brand new. At least I want to say that because all the previous Ray's or the modern Ray's have this smiling expression. This one does not. So is it new? Is it not? Let me know. Either way, I think it looks good. The eyes are painted well. You see a little bit of uh, facial hair stubble, which looks nice. The paint deco on the mask looks really good. It's got a little bit of a black splotch up here by the cross on the pink. But aside from that, it looks really nice. Hmm, guess I spoke too soon. It's a little bit of smudging here on the white part of the eagle. Other side looks better. He's got a pink mohawk here. Looks really good. So not perfect, but not really that bad either. And then look at Rollins. This is exactly the same as Elite 93. Same facial expression, same paint deco. The eyes look good, the lips look good, the teeth are painted well. You see the tongue, which looks really nice. Sculpting of the beard and the hair looks really good. Good sculpting of the man bun up here. Looking at the upper body, it is the exact same one as the previous. Elite 93, it's got chest hair, looks good, double jointed elbows, always love that. Got a gloved hand on the right, and on the left you get this wrist tape in black. Now the tight design is pretty cool, it is different than Elite 93. As you can see right here, here's a close-up at the side here. Even the knee pads are different. So let's look, go ahead and look at the other side. Not much on there. Look at the front. The new Seth Rollins just has a black left leg. 93 Seth has paint echo on there. Even the boots are painted differently. You get this nice silhouette of Seth painted really well. Good paint deco. I don't really see anything that's majorly sloppy or mispainted. So I really like how that turned out. Good paint apps there. This knee pad looks really nice with the Seth Rollins logo. Tattoo on the back, painted really well. And then looking at Rey Mysterio, the sculpting on the upper body and the legs are pretty much the same as the previous Top Picks and Elite 92 Rey. Biggest difference is the color scheme and the paint deco. You do see his tattoos on the chest and across the abdomen right here. Painted very well. Tell usually does a really good job with Ray's tattoos. See a little bit of that on his arm. It is covered by this armband here. Sculpted really well. Looks nice. So look at the back tattoo. He has this yellow singlet. Tattoos on the arm look really nice. Goes down to the pink gloves. So the color scheme of this Ray is yellow and pink. Which to be honest, seeing the photos online, I didn't really think I would like it. But this really pops in person. You get these three white stars on the front. This middle star is not painted perfectly, but it still looks good. It says, I am Lucha on the back. A little bit of missing paint on the H. Then you get these three eagles here. Painted very well. So this one, so these ones look really good. Same thing on the other side. A little bit of sloppiness right there. Yellow boots, good paint deco up there. Down here behind the back of the shoe. Then you get some stars right there and there. Going over Ray's articulation, head goes that high up, that far down, turns side to side and tilts pretty well. Shoulder goes that high up, rotates all the way around, biceps swivel, double jointed elbows, swivel and hinge at the wrist, ab crunch goes forward and back, waist swivel, legs go that far out, 
That high up thigh cut, double jointed knees, a cut at the top of the boot, ankle goes that high up, that far down, and some slight ankle pivot. Then going over Seth's articulation, head goes that high up, that far down, turn side to side, pivots, shoulder goes that high up, rotates all the way around, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, a swivel and hinge at the wrist, crunches that far forward, that far back, waist swivel, legs go that far out, that high up, thigh cut, Double jointed knees, a cut at the top of the boot, ankle goes that high up, it was a bit tough there, that far down, and some slight ankle pivot. Here we have the new topic, Seth Rollins next to Elite 92, Seth. And finally, here's the new topics, Rey Mysterio next to Elite 92, Rey. And I did not pick up the previous topics, Rey Mysterio, but here's how it would kind of look next to this one. So to answer my previous question, are these figures worth it? Well, if you already have Elite 93 Seth, or if you have Elite 92 Rey Mysterio, or even the top picks Rey, then no, they're not worth getting, and you could easily pass on these. Honestly, the only reason why I could see someone wanting these is that if for whatever reason you weren't able to get the other ones, and you like the attire choice on these two figures, then yeah, you might want to choose these over the previous ones. Because honestly, they're not bad figures at all. They're actually pretty good. The yellow and pink on Ray looks really nice. The different paint deco on Seth's tights and the black jacket looks really good on him. I just don't really think you need these in your collection if you already have the other ones. But what I do need you to do is hit that like button and subscribe. Check out my social media to be up to date with all my wrestling figure photography and I'll see you next time.